I'm actually pleased to be here uh, this afternoon at the at the unveiling of Mobile Oil's Fiji's uh, premium fuel tank, which is right behind us, as you can all see. Ladies and gentlemen, this newly constructed premium fuel tank is a result of uh, continued determination of the Mobile Oil Fiji Group. And despite many challenges, including Cyclone Harold and COVID-19, Mobile has continues, continued its plans uh, to ensure reliable supply of fuel in Fiji and due to, due to the pandemic. Invest, investment plans of, of some businesses may have been on hold, but uh, with respect to Mobile, they've continued to invest. It's, it's reassuring to see Mobile uh, continuing to invest in its presence in Fiji. And earlier this year, ladies and gentlemen, Mobile, uh, Mobile Oil Fiji has actually supported various uh, government initiatives to keep Fijians safe during the pandemic. These corporate social responsibility initiatives have certainly made a positive impact on, on the lives of, of all Fijians. Ladies and gentlemen, Mobile Oil Fiji is uh, committed to meeting growing demands for energy um, in the group globally strives to reduce environmental impacts at the same time. I'm actually told that Mobile Oil globally has been involved at the forefront of uh, climate research for about four decades in understanding and working with the world's leading experts on, on climate uh, till date. And these many hours of dedication has seen Mobile's investment of about $10 billion to develop lower emission energy solutions uh, since the year 2000. And this, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, ties in well with our national and international commitments. And Fiji has uh, ensured that our national policies ad adequately cover the commitments that we have given at international level. Our achievements, both at uh, national and, in and international level, are driven through the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister. And Fiji has been active in the global arena, as you all know highlighting the plight of small island states in, in dealing with development uh, and climate changes, climate change uh, issues. Our five-year and 20-year and, and national development plan has, has set the foundations, ladies and gentlemen, that is aligned with global commitments that we have, including the 2030 Agenda uh, that, uh, with respect to sustainable development and the Paris Agreement on climate change. With a, with a vision and commitment to net zero uh, emissions. The Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism and Transport has worked on the national standards for fuel. And currently Fiji is compliant with Euro 4, compatible standards for unleaded petrol and, and Euro 5 for diesel. This is ensuring that the emissions of greenhouse gases are reduced and actually eliminated. We want to acknowledge the active contribution of Mobil and all other fuel importers and, and, and the key stakeholders and their contribution is their commitment to working with the Fijian government in achieving our emission reduction goals. Ladies and gentlemen, Mobil, uh, Mobil's investment is actually timely given that the Fijian government is currently undertaking a number of reforms which includes the review of our Foreign Investment Act and the new Investment Act once in place will allow for streamlining of a number of processes and eliminate the difference between domestic and foreign investors and accord internationally recognized rights such as most favored national uh, and nation and, and national treatment. With these reforms, ladies and gentlemen, investment Fiji supported by our trade commissions will also significantly realign its focus on, on marketing Fiji as a destination for targeted investment. And specifically, we're looking at uh, areas such as green growth and technology for sustainable development in a post-pandemic era. Ladies and gentlemen, I also wish to acknowledge the efforts applied by Mobile Oil Fiji in, in response to COVID-19 and the safety measures placed for the well-being of staff and customers. And it's actually promising to see uh, guiding principles that are set by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services being supported during the height of the pandemic. I am equally pleased to see that the Care Fiji app is being supported by Mobile Oil Fiji and examples set by Mobile on these initiatives will ensure that Fiji continues to be safe for both Fijians and our visitors. I also want to make a special mention, I'm quite proud of the fact that, that the entire tank is Fijian made by our own creative crew uh, from Fiji and 
that's the one good side of COVID. We've had to respond like that, and, and they've done so with flying colours. And I understand that uh, from Adil that that uh, there's a sign-off from Mobile Head Office with respect to the tank. So thank you guys from Fiji who've actually helped build the tank. Coming back to today's event, ladies and gentlemen, and in closing my address, I'd like to just congratulate Mobile, Oil Fiji, and all the stakeholders for this significant investment in Suva and this wonderful facility. Thank you very much. Nawalewu. Thank you.